This video offers some tips on viewing our historic maps. We've got three sets of maps available. County series maps, published between the 1850s to the 1960s. Town plans, very detailed maps of bigger towns and cities between the 1840s and 1890s. Finally, we have national grid maps, published from the introduction of the national grid after World War II. And we have maps up until the 1990s when digital mapping was introduced. So in Historic Rome, you'll find some additional features. First of all, the scale bar is in two sections. Modern maps are displayed until you zoom further in, then we switch to historic maps. Let's try that now by zooming in on Sheffield. OK, so we're now looking at a historic map and the scale bar is saying ancient, i.e. historic. We can keep zooming in to progressively more detailed historic maps. Once we get to a historic map, you'll also notice the timeline above the map window change. The timeline is a feature only found in historic Digimap. It lets you select maps for viewing from a particular decade. At the moment, 1850s is highlighted in blue, meaning we're viewing a map from that decade. When you log in and start using Rome, it will always show you the earliest map available for your scale. But if you look along the timeline, there are several decades with a white background, meaning there are maps available there too. Just select any decade to switch map. You can find details of the map you're viewing by using the Feature Information tool. Select the Information icon found on the top toolbar, then select anywhere on your historic map. You'll see a box pop up with details. So we're looking at a county map for Yorkshire, scale 1 to 10,560, which was an inch to a mile, published in 1906. We still have the map information in the sidebar, like in other roams, but you only get the scale and coordinate information here. Let's zoom in and find some more detailed maps. What we're looking at now is a town plan map which offer fantastic detail. Let's keep zooming in and see if we have a more detailed town plan. Yes, this one is the 1 to 500 scale town plan, the most detailed mapping we have. These maps were for towns and cities with a population of more than 4,000 at the time of survey. So for larger towns, please keep zooming in and checking what we have. Often you'll find that as you zoom in, you'll see this message. No historic maps of this location are available for this decade in zoom level. Bear in mind that not every scale will have a map available for a particular decade. Not every area was surveyed each decade. In some areas, there could be lengthy gaps between surveys. I'm going to switch location now to Lewisham to show you another feature. So you can see our map window looks blurry, which tells me there is more than one map being displayed. Let's check the feature information. It's often the case that more than one map is displayed as the areas covered by maps can overlap. County boundaries may have moved over time, or county surveyors may have mapped a little over their geographic boundary. Sometimes when more than one county map is displayed at the same time, it can cause blurring, as we see here. I find this problem occurs most frequently in London and the South East. Let's open our overlapping map selection tool. This shows me the maps on display and the areas they cover. Select any map from the list and your map window will display only that map. One last feature that's unique to Historic Digimap is the Save Screen Image tool. To get a quick image of the map you're viewing, select Save Screen Image from the sidebar, choose the image format, and select Save Image to get an image with a copyright statement. We still have the main print menu on the top toolbar, which offers you custom print scale and other options. Save Screen Image is just a quicker option. I hope that was useful. Please do get in touch with any questions or issues that you have.